Welcome to Awkward Interviews. I am your host, Zoya Ahmad. Today I am joined with Dr. Wilson. Joined with? Joined to Dr. Wilson. That, that wasn't the part that I had a problem. Joined, I want to micromanage your interviewing. Thanks. I see you are a history teacher. That's fair, yeah. Would you confirm that statement? Like with like a, like a thumbs up or like a... Yes. Yeah. Okay, so that means you know your stuff. I suppose. I know some stuff, yeah. Name every war. Oh, man. Wait, you could just say like, you could just say war, right? I guess. Yeah. Okay, war. question. Wait, can I just say, look at the camera and say it? Sure. War. The editing's going to be really good with that one. Thanks. Question. Why was World War I so quick? Like, quick how? Like... Do you want my answer to this? Yeah. They were Russian. That's pretty good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. Question. Why was World War II so slow? Oh, I don't know why. They were Stalin. <laughs> All right. oh, that's good. Oh, are you going to have canned laughter in this, do you think? Or do you think it'll just Should be quiet? Should we put canned laughter in this? What? Maybe. We, yeah, I think that'd be fun. Okay, let's see. Did you ever study philosophy in college? Yeah, I did, yeah. Question. <laughs> Why does money not grow on trees, but banks have branches? Oh, that's a good one. Wait, is there an answer to that one? Is this like your earlier jokes? No, there's no answer. This is a philosophy question. Oh. Why do you, banks? No, why do you, what, money doesn't grow on trees, but banks have branches. I don't know. It's a great question. You can look into it later. You really could sit there. You just sit there and just like really think about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Question. Who is the hardest philosopher to open? Oh, I don't know who. John Locke. Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I made that one up. Did you really? Yeah. Oh. That's a good that's one. That's a good one. Yeah. Good for you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any questions you have for me? I don't know. It, are you having a good time? Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying. Yeah. I, I don't, I, am I going to be, are there going to be more of us doing this? I'm supposed to interview a uni alum next, and oh. I'm supposed to be able to roast him, but you're a teacher, and I'm currently a student, so I can't really go there. But I'm not, your, I'm not your teacher. But you're still a faculty member here. Like, I would, like, foment, like, I'd go, like, you'd make me angry, and then I'd go, be like, who are all Zoya's teachers? And then I'd, like, email them, and be like, you should make Zoya's, this is, I'm typing an email. She's a threat to the health and safety task force. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. probably what you would say. So. Yeah. Yeah, I probably would use my, like, immense power on the health and safety. T yeah. Like, make you wear, like, a full hazmat suit or something like that. Okay. Well, yeah. I don't have any more questions. Okay. That was all I had. Wonderful. Those are really good history jokes, by the way. Thank you. Tune in next week for more Awkward Interviews, Episode 2.